Welcome to the Laurel Martin Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Field Hockey Head Coach Laurel Martin. And Coach, season started off on a, on a hot start, started 3-1, and one, currently mm -hmm. sitting at 4-5, and five, right about the halfway point of the season. Right. Just talk about your team's play so far. So um, we came out strong, had a lot of uh, good leadership from a, a pretty strong senior class and um, gained some confidence in, and had secured some wins. And then we started to play some nationally ranked programs. So um, at that point in stage, I think we, we competed with them, but we were handed a little bit of a step back um, with, uh, you know, I, and I don't know for sure, but I think we were contemplating and questioning how good are we because of the results from the nationally ranked programs. And now we're bouncing back from that and um, the recognition that we can compete with the best of the best. And um, so hopefully we're on an upward swing because we face a tough one on Saturday. Yeah, talking about those nationally ranked teams, you played Salisbury and Rowan. Mm -hmm. The result, if you look on paper, probably not what you would want. But talk about the team's play and what, pl what playing those type of opponents does for you moving forward. Right, and we and we played Catholic as well. Now they dropped off of the nationally ranked things, but they were nationally ranked earlier in the season. Um, and their program is strong, and and we took them to overtime and actually should have defeated that team. Um, you know, against the Salisburys and the Rowans, uh, I, I think the the you know there's just a there's a difference between that caliber team and ours right now, um, just with uh, I believe the mindset and um, just the perseverance and the overall ability to finish or stop the finishing. <laughs> so all three of those things, but we're close. And uh, I, I think if we can put it into place and, and kind of prove to ourselves that we can do it, then, then we would compete with those type, types of programs. But right now we're still working on that. Yeah, moving into the field and talking about some certain players, mm -hmm. Sarah McVeigh, yeah. you called it at the start of the season. You moved her back to forward from the midfield. Right. She has eight goals right now she this season. She loves it there. Yeah. Just <laughs> talk about her and, and her contribution yeah. to the team. Well, you know, Sarah is one of those um, silent type of leaders. So she's not going to be a type of kid that is, um, you know, yelling at her teammates and, and encouraging and that sort of a thing. She just shows by action. So uh, she is a naturally gifted athlete. She's got speed. She's got stick skill. And she's, you know, and, and she's also, as the season is progressing, learning how to play some defense as well. So um, she's scored some brilliant goals. And... Um, and she's really kept us kept us in many games. Yeah, offensively, you have 17 goals, just from four goal scorers. Brigitte Sirac has two goals. Brooke mm -hmm. Morris has six. Is that by plan? Did you feel like going into the season that you would have only a handful of goal scorers, or would you like to see it kind of spread spread throughout the team? Well, I mean, I think if. The, the best squads usually have a widespread version of goal scores. We're not being very successful on our specialties, our attack penalty corners. Um, so we're adjusting them. Uh, but the goal scores are typically the, the forward line. I would love to see some midfielders overlapping and scoring as well. I think Ashley Meyer has that capacity. Um, Katie Byram showing that she can eliminate and, and get into the, uh, the top of the arch and take some shots. And um, Lexi certainly can as well. So I'd, I'd love to see them take the risk and, and, and get some goals themselves. Um, but the forwards are doing the job that they're supposed to do. So, And then move back to the defense. It's the, the trio of Ashley Gladfelder, Jordan Hirschberger, and Nikki Jones have started all nine games. Yeah. Talk about their contribution and how they've defensively been keeping you in games. So those three um, are probably the most consistent players on the team, um, especially Ashley Gladfelder, who was really, I wasn't even certain if she would start this year. Um, she had always sort of been vying for um, a main part of the program for many years. And um, we tried her out in the spring in the middle of the field, and she loved it. And we loved her there. So um, she's really worked hard, always works hard, and um, is probably one of the best hustlers and just sort of, I, I would call her a grinder on the field. Um, and then, of course, we've got Jordan, who uh, I, I can't ever say that I've seen Jordan have a bad game. She's just consistent. She's steady. Um, she steps up at the right times. Uh, she's she's a calming force back there. She, she's a wonderful attribute to the program. And, um, and then, of course, we've got Nikki, who uh, is just speed for speed. She's as fast as any center forward out there. So uh, there's no one that's going to outrun her. 
Um, and she's got great low defense. She's fearless. She'll take many a ball to the body, as you probably witnessed last night, and just keeps on going. So um, she's, she is a tough defender and one of the most challenging, um, well, probably the most difficult to get around from an attack perspective. And then in the cage, Junior Kelsey Year has been a constant for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Coming off a season where she split time last year, has started mm -hmm. every game. Talk about her play. So Kelsey's really, really starting to establish herself. And with any um, any player, uh, really elevating it to the next level takes doing it and, and getting the confidence by by showing that you can make the big saves. And, she, and she's starting to make big saves, and, and she's practicing hard. She is loved by her teammates. She's very much um, a, a team type of person. When she doesn't start, she doesn't complain. She accepts her role. And when she's out there starting, she never brags. She's just she's just a great, great person and a, and a good team person. Now as we flip the page, you already have one conference game under your belt. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest yet to come. Yet to come. Talk, <laughs> about, talk about the goals that you have set for, for your team for the second half of the year. So um, we really want to make postseason, um, you know, and, and then you, you've got the really big lofty goal of going to the NCAA tournament, which would mean not only defeating uh, the, the number two ranked team in the nation with Messiah, but that would mean beating all of the rest, you know, making it to postseason um, in the top four for our conference. And we have Arcadia and Alvernia and Leb Val and Widener and Albright and, you know, and, and Hood's um, you know, fighting to improve as well. So this is a tough conference, and nothing's given um, for any game. Uh, so we want to make it to postseason, whether it's NCAA or ECAC. Uh, we have the potential to do so. We just have to do it. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck the Thank rest you. of the way. Thank you. For head coach Laurel Martin, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Laurel Martin Show.